water. Oh, if it's water, it's all right, you know. What about the old mother? Is water in our breast? Hmm? Okay. So now we come here now. I am taking a look now at the goat poop. If you look at this feces here now, the goat poop usually have an oval look and it should be it should be tough and solid. If you can look at this. These poops are shiny. Some of them have a light brown color. Right? So what is happening here? This is showing that the goat poop it have many different shapes. This look like you know like a seed. pear like, <laughs> meringue seed. seed like a pear and you have some light brown colors the also reason. one of the things when it looks a little wet like this and solid it means that they have enough water if the poo is very dry like this if you see this poo it's very dry it's not shiny looking like sometimes this is indicating that they, no, they don't have enough water in the diet because you have to have clean water at all times so the results from the poo is showing me that they are doing fine with mangoes mm -hmm. mangoes your, your your management of your animals is very important and one of the things that you have to watch is the feces that is coming out especially when you change their diet if you're changing from one type of feed to another even if you change from one brand of feed you know actually you have to look at the feces and make sure because you can get scoring you can get diarrhea when you switch the feeding on them so you have to make sure you watch this. You have to gradually change the feeding type on an animal when you are going to, to do that. So if you're giving them different forages or you're giving them, you know, different types of feeding like mangoes or something like that, you have to do it slowly and break them into it because you have to get a balance inside the, um, the ruminants. Ashley, you were asking me, why do I feed with, with, with mangoes? The reason is I feed my animals with a lot of waste. Waste meaning things from processing plant, anything waste. Mm -hmm. So these are the waste products from the factories that do mango juice and they, you know, they export mangoes. So I will feed my animals with banana skin, mango in mango season, just mangoes because I have so much. And I also drive around and pick up van loads of mangoes all over Kingston and carry it here and feed the goats with it. And you can see, they just love it. They have eaten a lot of mangoes since morning already and we just give them some more and you, and you see what is the results of eating the mangoes. Now we are going to look at another poop here now. Now when they poop like this and it almost look like raspberry or you know it clumped together like this. It's not as hard you know. Now what happens here if you see this it look like grapes a bunch of grapes together but it is very wet. This is not so dangerous but what happens this was the stage when the animals were just being introduced to the mangoes mm -hmm. then you find this is happening sometimes like if enough roughage is not in there meaning the grass you know so i always like to have grass always have the roughage which is the grass on the animals i run out of hay and that's the reason why i'm doing this check because they have not gotten any grass for three four days now because we can't get hay to buy and I am doing well so far just on the mangoes, as you can see. Very solid poo, looks very nice. Another thing, when you look at this poo, sometimes you can look at it and if your animal is burdened with worm and all of that, sometimes you can look, yes, it shows in the poo. Tapeworm, sometimes you can actually see the tapeworm in, in this poo. You will see that big white thing like in there. But not the barber pole worm because it's some fine eggs and it's fine. But Sometimes you can just look at the poo and you kind of say, you know, when you look at it, you will see the difference and you know that you have a parasite, an internal parasite burden. Was there anything you wanted to ask me? Yes, Ashley? I wanted to ask about the, um, since the introduction, have mm. you seen any um, cases of diarrhea? No, we have not seen any cases of diarrhea since we have introduced the mangoes. Well, we've been doing the mangoes about maybe going to two months here now. We, and what happened, the mango season came in slowly. So we started to give them mangoes little by little, little by little, and we have increased. So now we are on mangoes almost a hundred percent here now. It's really, really very good. And one of the things I must tell you, when you feed your animals, especially the females, because of the high energy that is in mango, the sugar and all the minerals and so forth, milk production is very high. They produce a lot of milk. It's difficult to wean off a mother from their kid now at this time because there's so much milk being produced. Another question, sir. 
Have you seen any improvement in the body condition for since two months? Well, my body condition is usually very good. Right. This herd I have down here is some new animals that just came into the herd. And some of them don't look very good now because we are actually working on them. So we have some bad looking goats in this herd down here now. But as you see on the herd, on the slotted floor, yes, they are, they are in very, very good condition. So I did not lose condition with the animals any at all. Even though when you're changing from one feed type to another feed type, you once you do it gradually, then you don't Even usually it. yes you don't usually drop on your on your management so your management system is very important actually very important um so i'm so happy to have brought this information to you i'm thanking ashley for being here with me and sharing some of this information here with me please continue to subscribe to my channel and i'm looking forward to sharing more videos with you as i go along because i want you all to learn everything that i know because i want you to be productive and always remember that goat rearing is like money. You just earn money all the time from it.